Hello, welcome to week two of using educational technology in the English language classroom. I'm Carol Chappelle, and this week we'll be looking at how technology is used for teaching second language vocabulary. In this lecture, we'll start out by looking at the connection between technology and vocabulary today. We'll then meet our vocabulary expert, Professor Jim Rinaldi. I'm going to ask Jim why vocabulary is so important for students to learn, and then we'll ask him what teachers should know about vocabulary in order to teach it well. We'll also ask him for some specific advice about how to teach vocabulary, and finally, we'll look at how technology can help our students who are trying to learn second language vocabulary. There are many important connections between technology and vocabulary today. Technology provides access to many different ways for students to study vocabulary. Also, teachers can find many resources to help teach vocabulary on the internet. Let's take a look at vocabulary teaching activities. The first one comes from Voice of America's section called News Words. And the second is the vocabulary that is in the news stories. This page called News Words is one example of vocabulary on the Voice America web pages. In this section, the authors have taken words that are found in news stories, and they have created little mini lessons about each of the words. For example, we see a number of words that students might find difficult in these news stories. One of the news stories was about the Ethiopian Olympic gold medal athlete. She won the gold medal, and as part of the story, they talked about how she had obliterated previous records. So on the website, what's highlighted is the word obliterated. This is probably a word that most students wouldn't know. But in the section, it gives the students a chance to look at the word see it in context, and also hear it when they listen to the story. 